Hi everyone, I make templates in Excel and PowerPoint to help people get ahead in their careers and get the most out of your business or your startup. This one in particular is a swim lane flowchart, but it's done in Excel and it's so wonderful to do it in Excel and we're gonna show you how because uh, you can easily create these swim lanes you can easily create more swim lanes and insert them here and things will adjust automatically as well. No need to spend extra money on any fancy software or that sort of thing. Plus, the way we use a swim lane flowchart is that we, we can actually figure out what the process, what's happening in a process and we can visualize it and see it and it becomes so powerful. This will just be a really quick tutorial on how to create the swim lanes, how to create the various icons in your swim lane chart and then use it to your own advantage. Let's get into the sheet. The the first thing we're going to do is just do the general framing and coloring uh, and then we'll get into the swim lanes really quickly um, and we'll speed it up just ever so slightly as we do this first part so we can get into the really good stuff. We'll give this a nice deep blue just to start with and color our text white so that it stands out and we'll color this section white so that that stands out as well and we know that people can fill out their project name. Now we can just make the swim lanes where we actually want the height of these to be around 75 for now. And that's going to give us a lot of room for us to work with. And we're going to make our, the, the areas over on the left and give them a nice thick box border. And we can do the same for all of these as we go down. Then of course the same for all of our other areas. And if we want to do this all a little bit more quickly, we can actually go to more borders and we'll select our, our thick border here and we'll do it all around uh, and even in between. See where that comes up and that's beautiful. Now we can go to view and just get rid of, rid of our grid lines and it's starting to look really, really good. For every uh, single swim lane flow chart, it's ideal to start with our customer because that's where the process usually starts by the customer ordering something or requesting something. Then of course, we're going to have other areas like uh, let's say area one through five, for example, just in this case. We can drag that down and Excel will do all of the work for us. And now we can just insert the shapes that will complete our swim lane flow chart. The first one is to start and to finish. A very simple circle, if we hold shift while we create that, that'll form a perfect circle. And if we, uh, we might just want the outline to be a little bit thicker for us and we can have the fill as white. Then if we format that shape, we want our text options uh, and our margins. We want them to be zero for our, for our circle just so that it's not overlapping. And if we right click and edit our text, this can be our start. Now our second shape can just be a normal process box and that's a rounded rectangle. So if we right click on that, we'll make our fill white again. And again, maybe we'll give ourselves a, a bit of a deeper outline here and a little bit increase. And we'll put the same margins, try and reduce those margins a little bit so that it doesn't overlap and then edit our text and make sure that that's uh, exactly the way that we want it. Now that we've got more than one item, we can actually insert one of the most important parts here, and that is our arrow. So there are two different arrows uh, that we will, or two or three different arrows that we can use here. A normal straight arrow, uh, an elbow connector, and then uh, my personal favorite, the curved arrow, because that will actually just adjust uh, depending on where our items end up. So it might just curve to wherever we need it to go. We'll increase the weight of that, make sure, it's, uh, make sure it matches our other ones as well. And now we've got a really good start. But also what we need is a decision. So we may need to make decisions uh, for to go one way or another way on our flowchart. And to do that, we use a diamond. With our diamond shape, again, let's just, uh, let's give ourselves a, a different color here and make sure the outline is, uh, is large enough so that we can see it really well. And of course, then we'll go to our text options and just remove the margins a little bit so that it doesn't overlap. When we have a decision, this might be a great time to use our other connector, which is our elbow connector. Uh, and this one, that, the reason this is important is that this will just adjust for us and just bend as we go to our next one. But we want it to go in two different ways. So we've got our first one and we'll just connect that up again to our second one. But we want to understand what these decisions represent. So to do that, we're just going to insert a simple square, make the background white, adjust the margins as necessary. And now we can see what the decision represents and we can change it for our other one. Maybe it's a no for that method or for that path. And if we say yes, then it goes down to this one instead. There are two more main things that you'll use in a normal swim lane flowchart, and that is a database. 
and you can simply select that the, that actually exists already in Excel, which is really handy. There's your database one there. We'll just adjust that to suit the way we want it with the right background and the right margins, of course. And the other one we might come across is a document. Now there's a few different ways you can show this, but again, there is a standard method in Excel and it just looks like this. There's your document uh, one. And again, we'll just adjust that to suit our style. And now we can, uh, can just connect all of these back up straight to the end so that we know that we've finished our process. And now we've created a beautiful swim lane flowchart in Excel that we can actually adjust on the fly if we want to add in extra rows and everything will adjust nice and neatly for us. And this looks so fantastic and is so easy to create. I hope it helps you in your career. I've really enjoyed spending this time with you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.